Have you ever let the demons whisper into your ears and let the intrusive thoughts take over? B Psst, seeds, what do Skrillex and chickens have in common? Well then, th then that means you've also wondered what Skrillex and chickens have in common. No, 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 not that chicken. That one fucking sucks. I'm talking about the relation Skrillex has with that steamy, delicious, brothy goodness that can only be acquired via Cantor's Deli or my own mother's cooking. I'm talking 2017. I'm talking pre-CDJ welcome mats. I'm talking Ausla. I'm talking house. I'm talking house love. Before 2017, life was rated G. Imagine Tuesday, UC Riverside dorm, Lothian, 4 a.m. Roommate stumbles in, but wait, there's another voice. And for whatever reason, they decide it's a good time for some late night activities. And while I'm there painfully existing, I remember I have an 8 a.m. math midterm that I haven't remotely studied for. So sleep deprived, I awkwardly exit the room. But then after 2017, life turned PG 13. 8 a.m. class? Nope. Wasn't making it. 9 a.m. class? Nope. 10 a.m.? Nope. Not making that one either. Oh, there's a test today. Well, guess I'm headed to the library where I'll shotgun a couple Red Bulls, pull an all-nighter, and listen to the exact same song on repeat for the next 12 hours. And that, everyone, is the beauty of Skrillex and Habstract's chicken soup. But then, there was no escaping chicken soup. Every party, every car, every club, every rave, chicken soup, endlessly rinsed. And if I had to guess how many times I heard that song, I'd definitely say at least more than two. So like any adventurous adult, it was time to go on a mission into the depths. I decided it was time to listen to the entire Hausla compilation. Now, Hausla's biggest flaw is that the first song on the compilation is Chris Lake featuring Dances with White Girls Operator. How did Skrillex expect us to get past? There's no one home, operator. We have a problem. It's absolutely ridiculous, but after seven listens, I finally proceeded to one of the most diverse house music compilations ever released. Born Dirty featuring Syra, Daddy, an absolute funky bass house stinker unlike anything I'd heard before. Wide 808 stabs, knocking drums, killer vocals, chicken soup, again, making it at least more than three listens now. Alex Metric, featuring Confessionals, Freak, an electro-inspired beat with the freakiest vocals I've ever heard. Joyride, featuring Darnell Williams. Eh. Eh. Tony Quattro, featuring Nani Castle. Fuerza, a techier take on Jungle Terror, fueled with a gnarly trap breakdown. Chris Lake, I want you. Every frat and srat kid's bread and butter. Noizu, lasers, mind melting tech house. Mark Spence, on air, a groover, a hard hitter, what I'd consider the compilation's most slept on tune. Weewek, run, raw, jungle, terror, auto erotic, featuring Lady Lesher, Bling, and Tony Romero, what's going on? A funky mid-tempo banger. There are no two songs on Hausla that sound the same. Returning to Hausla in 2023, I found myself appreciating the featured sounds so much more and sought to learn more about Hausla's conception. My two biggest takeaways. One, Chris Lake played a major role in Hausla's curation. In an interview with Billboard, Lake says, I wanted to collaborate with Hausla and make something special. I feel like they're absolutely at the peak of their game. I don't think there's anyone else putting as much attention to detail. And two, the compilation paired with a residency at the Los Angeles club Le Jardin. And although I could only find a couple Glenn Jammin videos of these parties, footage looked absolutely degenerate. With its opening day featuring Anna Luno, B2B Abstract, B2B Wax Motif. Combining platforms and tastes, Skrillex and Chris Lake pushed lesser known sounds in house music to the mainstream. Quote, we just wanted the coolest sh on this album. The stuff that we felt was very 2017 and beyond. No looking back, 
completely looking forward. Amassing nearly 83 million streams, the compilation launched a new era of house music. Chris Lake and Skrillex, respectively, continue to dominate. Abstract, developing his unique sounds, becoming one of the largest bass house artists dominating the scene. Noizu, leaning into tech house, creating anthems year after year, founding one of house music's hottest rising labels. Tony Romero, combining vibes from across all subgenres in house, topping the Beatport chart with his remix of Julio Navas, Gustavo Brevetti, and David Amo's Raw, releasing massive quantities of music from year to year. The music and personalities of the Hausla compilation achieved exactly what it set out to accomplish. Innovate, create, and platform sounds of the future. Before Hausla, Big Room and Progressive House dominated American main stages. After Hausla, Bass House and Tech House were given much greater opportunities, eventually becoming common staples of the main stage. Now, before you sh** on me, I know, I know. Hausla isn't the sole reason for the recent success of underground subgenres in house. But holy sh**, chicken soup still gets plays today!